as we talk about all the time, a great skin edit is often as good as your skin mask. And with SKN, we're using MVP's Chroma Data method for getting skin tone selections to be as accurate as possible and certainly more accurate than the average way Photoshop might do. So we have that and it's powerful and it makes for a great workflow, whether it's cleanup or toning your skin. We like it so much and people like it so much that we also made the skin tone selection into its own function. At the bottom left of the main panel, you see a little circle selection button, okay? If you click that at any moment, it'll run a skin tone selection using NBP's Chroma Data method. And now you have the skin tone selected, okay? Give that one quick second and there it is. And now you can do anything you want with it. With a selection running, you can add an adjustment layer or anything you need to do with it. It's there so you can create a quick, accurate skin tone mask. Now, how accurate is it? Let's take a look. Let's put out a adjustment layer of hue and saturation and take a look at our mask. There it is. So even unrelated to the SKN workflow, whether you use cleanup or tone, you can get a quick skin tone mask that's very, very accurate, much more accurate than what Photoshop generally allows. But we've taken it a step further. If you right click the selection, you have some choices, okay? With Chroma Data, the fuzziness of the color range function isn't that necessary because we're removing luminosity information, thus allowing Photoshop to really target on skin tones, okay? So you do have some choices. You can make it tighter or looser, okay? These are based on different settings that I've experimented with over many, many months. And these are the general idea. So if you're having a difficult time, like if a shot isn't um, letting SKN capture the skin very accurately, put it on very loose. It gives it a little bit more freedom to select more tones that are more the you know, near the perimeters of what skin tone range is considered Photoshop. If you have a very easy one like this one, you can put it on very tight and that'll clean up those edges really, really strong. Like anything, it's using Photoshop's brain. So depending on your shot, <coughs> this skin tone selection could be clean and simple and perfect, and it usually is, or sometimes it can be a little more challenging. A quick tip, like I mentioned in other videos, is to not try to run a skin tone selection or try not to run clean up or tone on SKN on a color graded image or on an image that has not been color corrected. You really should do your white balance correction and your exposure correction on any image in RAW, ideally in RAW, before you run any type of skin editor, let alone SKN. If you have a shot that's two and a half stops too dark and your white balance is 2000 Kelvin off, any automatic functions are gonna get lost. So do your due diligence in RAW to get something clean and nice and you know, corrected, and then you have a much better success rate with SKN. Now, on top of that, if I right click the selection button again, you'll see we have subject only. This is another sort of last ditch effort when a shot is really, really difficult. The skin tones are not obvious. Photoshop, even with MVP's chroma method, it's not targeting those skin tones in any useful way. We can just have it use subject only, which uses Photoshop's AI for subject selection, which a lot of times is gonna be a little more successful than a difficult skin tone. So it'll select the subject and run everything on the subject, allowing you then to customize your mask, you know, like remove hair, remove articles of clothing, etc. Now, for if you're doing art nudes that are like body scathes with deep shadows where skin tone gets lost, subject only is ideal. First of all, you have no wardrobe to mask out. Second of all, you're gonna get into those shadows probably a lot better. If you're having difficulty with SKN or Photoshop, finding the skin tone, use subject only. And finally, subject only is great for monochrome images. If you come out of raw straight into black and white, now I know most people don't, but if you do, it's not gonna find any skin tones at all. So you need to put it on subject only. Then again, you'll have the subject selected, all of the SKN functions will run, and then you can mask out again, wardrobe or hair, things like that. But at least you start with the subject. So it's sort of a last ditch effort to work with monochrome images or extremely difficult, images where the automatic functions of finding skin tones isn't as successful as you'd like. All of it still beats a manual mask from the ground up. So very, very useful there. I'd like to show that. So even if you're not running cleanup or tone or using SKN for any of its awesome functions, you still have this button down here to use MVP's Chroma Data method for those really, really accurate skin tone selections. Thank you.